my fellow nerds. Welcome back to my show. Glad to have you back. I'd like to share with you a few highlights of the World of Warcraft patch 5.0.4 that just came out. But before we get started on that, I have to show you my new shirt that my friends got me for my birthday. Check that out. Check that out. Post in the comments below if you know what that is from. So as everybody's excited for the patch and for the expansion coming out in September, People are also not too happy with their class changes. I've heard people say, oh, my class is boring now, or I have holes on my bar, or what happened to Rend, or, you know, whatever. Keep in mind they're adding five levels to the game. You will be able to get to level 90. They've got to have some abilities for you to get from 85 to 90. And if they left everything in the game, there would just be too much. It was just different. You've got to be open to change. With games like this, you have to be open to change because they're ongoing and they can't stay the same forever. Otherwise, it would just be really boring. The Battle of Theramore event that's coming out with Miss Pandaria, where you help Jaina Proudmore defend Theramore from utter and total destruction is actually going to be open to play a week before the expansion release. So from the 18th of September to the 25th, level 85 players will be able to do this scenario. After that, you will have to reach level 90 to do it. Once you've done it, the scene of the whole island of Theramore is going to be different. And I'm sure you'll phase with people that haven't done it. I'm kind of curious what it'll look like, because right now it looks pretty sad from Cataclysm. So hopefully they fix it. While we're on the topic of Lady Jaina, the new novel, Jaina Proudmore, Tides of War, is available in stores or for order online. It kind of helps explain Cataclysm and Mr. Pandaria, a little bit of in-between, so people can get some more of the storyline for those of you that are into lore. You know, I used to read a lot. I used to read a lot. I haven't been lately, but I think I'll pick one of those up. I still have to read. I still have to finish reading Game of Thrones, though. Eventually, I'll read some World of Warcraft books. I've meant to for a long time now, but we'll see. But then I can be one of those lore nerds that everybody makes fun of. Yes. They're adding in some bosses that have pet and mount drops that only spawn every so often. Shot of Anger and Solissa's Warband are two bosses that will drop mounts and pets and they'll only be available once in a while. There's more information. I will post the link in the comment section. And there's also on that same page a link to every class. They have class guides up. MMO champion. They also have a link to Icy Veins class guides if you want help figuring out how to spec and what abilities are important for you and your class and spec for Miss the Pandaria. There's also a link that kind of highlights the changes for each class. So if you just want a general thing for each class, I'll link that in the description right below the one with the class guides on it. Kind of just gives a general overview so you don't have to read every detail. They're not doing server merges as a lot of people have expected the low pop servers to be combined with other servers. They're not doing that. They're doing a cross realm thing. In fact, with the patch, they already implemented some of that. For example, going outside of Stormwind and Owen Forest, I've seen people from other, um, other realms. And I haven't quite figured out how, and I haven't found anything online about it, how exactly it works. I feel like at this point, my only guess is that it's random, which is really strange to me. At first I thought that it was, if you grouped with somebody from your real ID, you would see them um, on your server in certain zones. This is all in certain zones, mind you. So, but we actually tried it where a couple of my guildies grouped up. One of them was on a different realm on a different tune and they couldn't see each other. So I'm not really sure how it's it that's working. It's pretty cool because then, you know, like I said, the low pop servers will have more people involved. Um, I think it's only partially incorporated right now. I don't think they've really added the whole platform in yet and made it complete. They're probably gonna make some changes and eventually I'm hoping to learn about how that system works exactly. They are slowly adding in the new legendary quest. 
Any class can do this quest, and it starts with Rathian in Pandaria. You do his quest line, you get a gem, and it allows you to upgrade certain items that drop off of raid bosses. Now, it's going to kind of leave you hanging because you'll only get to a certain point, and then they'll add more in 5.1 and only be able to get to a certain point. So, more and more will be implemented, and you just kind of have to do what you can do, and we'll see how that goes. But it is interesting that every class has the ability to do this legendary. It's an interesting way to add legendaries into the game, and I'm wondering if it's going to be as hard as the staff that you get from the quest line in Firelands, which I am working on right now. Oh, I still have like 10 clears left. I think I might be wishful thinking on that number. Sugarcoating a bit for my guildies that hate Firelands. So they added in some pandas into Stormwind over by the portals that bring you into the Cataclysm zones. And of course they don't do anything yet because one is the monk trainer and one is the pet battle trainer. Many people were excited when they saw that and they were like, oh my god, we can do pet battles. But no, that doesn't come out until Missa Pandaria as far as I know till the release of the expansion on the 25th. But you can see what the trainer looks like. So, so that's pretty cool. For those guilds that are using Master Looter in their raids, there's a bug right now. I'm sure you've discovered it if you've been raiding. The Master Looter is kind of broken. You can't give gear to somebody that is not in your group as the Master Looter. So basically, if somebody wins it, that's, or somebody, you know, you decide to give it to somebody, whatever loot system you're using, that is in a different group, you basically have to shuffle the groups around before you can give it to them. They're working on it. I'm sure everybody's enjoying the fact that they can use most of their old mounts on whatever tune they're on. If you're having trouble and you're wondering why you don't have some of your old mounts, you have to log on every one of those tunes for them to become active on the rest of your account. PAX Prime's going on in Seattle, Washington this Friday through the weekend, I believe, and I'm super jealous. I have friends that are there, and I wish I could be there with you. They'll have an Intel booth and an NVIDIA booth, and they're also going to be giving away a bunch of beta keys. So if you still haven't gotten a chance to play beta and you're super anxious, you can possibly get a beta key at PAX Prime. I'll have a link in the description below the event calendar for PAX Prime. The Battle.net World Championship event for StarCraft II is going to be in Shanghai, China, November 17th and 18th. As they get closer to the event, they will post the live stream and all that good stuff, all the events, the calendar of course, and all that for you guys to watch if you can't make it in person or if you're not competing. If you are, you're awesome. Grats. So there's that for all you StarCraft nerds. That's it for my show today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I just want to say to thank you guys so much for commenting. I appreciate the feedback, negative or positive. You guys are so awesome to me. I really did. I, I've gotten some really good comments and I appreciate that. I'm gonna go nerd out and try to get my freps on and get some cool new magey stuff. Oh, that's another thing I was gonna mention. I put up my arcane spec. Yeah, somebody commented arcane sucks. I know, I know. I have to go back to fire have to go back to fire. So I'm gonna respec fire as well and check that out. I'm gonna be brave. Uh, about, I don't know, a couple months after I started playing fire, I then also started leading raids constantly and calling things out and it got to be a little too much. I wasn't keeping up with my combustions and I was just being a noob and whatever. So I went arcane. I was like, I'll go easy mode and then I'll be able to call things out. And I still kind of am fail because arcane is not good. So I am going to try fire again and we'll see how that goes. I might post that up on my channel so you guys can see how nub I am. And uh, that'll make for some good stuff, some interesting comments. I'm sure I'll get, uh, I'll get some funny funny shit on there. So yeah. So anyways, I'm going to go for now, but I love you all and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.